Hello everyone, so if you're looking for how to fix if you're getting this error, disconnected with error or authentication timeout error in the Rust game. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can fix this issue and why you are getting this error. So currently, uh, a lot of users are facing the issue in the Rust and uh, the Rust is down for everyone. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is simply go to any uh, browser and then search for a down detector. Here you need to search for the Rust and then uh, you need to check the server status page of the Rust. If the Rust is down for everyone, in this case, you need to wait for some time. If it's not down, then you need to follow the next step. So uh, here you'll be able to find out. Let's search for it. Rust server status page. And then you will be able to find, uh, find it uh, whether it's down or not. So if the server is not down and uh, you are the only one to face this issue in the Rust, then uh, the first thing you need to do to fix this issue is uh, simply uh, locate the game in your uh, library. So uh, you need to uh, go to your uh, library and then select collection. Uh, but before going to this step, make sure to update your GPU driver. So right click on window icon, then go to the task manager. In the task manager, you need to uh, locate the game and uh, the steam and then force close it so once you do that then right click on the window icon again and then go to device manager in the device manager you need to go to the display adapter right click on your graphic card and then press on the update driver button so you need to update your graphic card driver to the latest version once you update that then uh, go to the steam and then go to library collection locate the rust game in here and then uh, you need to right click on the game icon. I'll be showing any other game as an example, but you can follow the same step for your Rust game. So you need to right click on the game icon, go to properties, select install file from side menu. So let me show you any other game. Right click on it, go to properties. So you need to select install file from side menu and press on verify integrity of game file. When verification is complete, start the game again and the issue will be fixed. So these are some of the best things to do to fix this type of issue in the Rust. I hope this will help you and see you in the next video.